Caddis Maximus here. This time we have a review of the Harbor Freight Long Reach Screwdriver Set. And it's a kind of a misleading handle, or title, excuse me, because these have, these have been sold at Harbor Freight for many years. They still sell them today. And these have traditionally been uh, the go-to. If you need a big, heavy-duty screwdriver and you don't want to spend a ton of money, uh, these Long Reach screwdrivers are really the best. And they should be advertised as Harbor Freight heavy-duty screwdrivers. Uh, they probably sell even more of them. They are genuine chrome vanadium shanks. They have a large, like 5 sixteenths or uh, 8 millimeter uh, square. So you can use a wrench to get additional torque. And as compared to the 22 inch, num uh, quarter inch slot head and number two Phillips, uh, these are in a totally different ball ballpark. Now those previous screwdrivers I just looked were $5 for the pair. These are $9 for the pair, and for less than twice the price, you get like five times the screwdriver. It's actually kind of surprising. Um, I would have expected those other long handles to actually be a little bit better, because these things, as we saw in the flexing of the previous video, these don't flex. These are very strong. You can use this as a pry bar. It wouldn't be a super heavy-duty pry bar, but people uh, certainly bought them. I've seen them. I've seen people remove half shafts with these screwdrivers. It's re really surprising. Uh, some nice aspects of the handle is that it's a through steel all the way through the handle and they press fit a hammering cup. So this really is meant for hammering. There are reviews of people using these from digging tools to chiseling up tile. Um, and it's been real surprising how durable they've been. They also put serrations on that cap so that when you're hammering, um, the acetate handle won't come loose and want to slide down the shank. And so I really appreciate that. And on the Phillips, it's the same way. Chrome vanadium, heavy duty shank. And so these are really just for the nine or ten dollars that they charge, are just a really great value for a very, very heavy duty screwdriver. One of my criticisms is that the handle could have a more aggressive texturing or design on it. For how large these screwdrivers are, you really can't get a superior grip. Now let's go ahead and compare these to some of their competition here. Here we go. Now we have some of their competition from Craftsman and Husky and Rigid. We'll go ahead and compare handles first and tips. We'll do the Phillips here. What I mean by aggressiveness, now, like the Husky and the Craftsman's here have a hex design with sharper ridges on the handle, so they're a bit easier to get a bit more grip on, especially if your hands are greasy and slick. And then more uh, modern handles, like this over-molded uh, Craftsman Professional, is really nice. Now, to compare, the Craftsman Professional uses a really... Uh, strong steel on those this professional USA line that they had. These, uh, from my understanding and research, were actually uh, hex keys. So they were really top quality, super strong steel that they uh, made into screwdrivers. And I can attest to that. I've used this Craftsman quite a bit. And if we compare the tips of these various screwdrivers here. There we go. You can see that the Craftsman's worn. Come on pretty darn well. These all have. What we have here is we have the Husky. We have a Craftsman Traditional, Craftsman USA, come on. We have the Craftsman Professional over here, and then this is the Harbor Freight. And so you can see how large this the square is in the Harbor Freight. It's pretty, it's it larger than the original Craftsman of the Husky and about the same size as the Craftsman Hex. Because of that, they had to cut a steeper taper. And so the only thing that I've run into and this is why I have multiple Phillips head screwdrivers, is we can see the difference just between this, uh, the old Craftsman and the old Husky, is that there's just slightly different designs. Same thing with the newer Craftsman Professional, even though all four of these are rated as a number four size Phillips. And so that can be one thing to consider, is um, just that slight difference in sizing can mean the difference of really getting a nice grip on the Phillips head screw or it wanting to slip off or we're having to put a huge amount of force onto it. Uh, and it's surprising. The Harbor Freight is nice because it has a pretty blunt nose. And then that light, slightly wider taper will really dig into the wings of the Phillips. So I've actually had pretty good luck and I wanted to point that out. And we'll just do a quick close up of the slot head. Here's another, other, another over molded handle. This is a Rigid USA and it's really been pretty nice for me. Uh, as compared to the Harbor Freight, the Harbor Freight's actually been just as strong as the Rigid has been just as uh, heavy duty. They both have the same size shank, although I have to admit that the Harbor Freight does 
have softer wool corners on their square, so it's a little nicer to handle than the older Rigid. One thing that uh, I had mentioned this earlier is they didn't serrate the tip on the Harbor Freight. Even if it costs another dollar and these were $10, these big Harbor Freight screwdrivers really are such a good value that even at 10 bucks they'd be a great value. And they could have added that serration, which would be nice. It helps prevent them from slipping as much, whether you're using it as a prying tool or a chisel, uh, or for actually driving large flathead fasteners or those kind of situations. And so that's really the biggest takeaway, is that's like the one big criticism. Uh, although you can't really criticize it that much because these Harbor Freights are just unbelievably well priced. So anyway, I wanted just to do my close-up review of these Harbor Freight long handle screwdrivers, uh, even though they should be called the Harbor Freight large heavy-duty screwdrivers. And I'll probably title it as that and then uh, use the Harbor Freight description in my own video description. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Caddis Maximus out.